3D monitor and graphical analysis. Your device will direct you to the screen after scanning, so you can examine the graphics you have obtained with three-dimensional ground scanning in detail. On this screen, you will see 3D graphics of the data you have collected in the center. The color bar on the right gives information about the soil that was scanned. In the 3D viewer function, the buttons on the device have some functions. These are, with mode button, you can switch between different types of analysis. With up, down, left, right direction buttons, you can turn the graph up, down, left, and right. Move the graph and go through each square in the details page. With zoom in and zoom out buttons, you can make the graph bigger or smaller to examine in detail. With OK button, you can turn on and off the grid on the graph. Squares on this grid correspond to each of your search signals. Back button allows you to go back to the main screen from 3D viewer function. Start button allows you to display your graph as wireframe. This view allows you to analyze the data in more detailed lines. There are four different graph analysis features on the 3D viewer function. 3D rotation. You can use the direction buttons on the device to rotate your graph left, right, and up, down. This way, you can see your graphic from different angles. 3D pan. You can examine your graph and the colors closely by zooming in. You can move the graph left and right, up and down, with the direction buttons and go through the graph. Scanning details. You can see numerical values of your data and get information about depth by choosing type of soil. You can go around the graph with direction buttons and examine the point details. Depth information. You can find out the general depth information of the measurement and see the start and end points of ground and other variables. The colors on the graph represent the following. Red, metallic objects and objects with high magnetic effect. Blue, filled dirt, tunnels and cavities in the underground. Green, standard soil that does not have any magnetic effects. Orange and yellow, mineral substances, mineral soil, and objects that have relatively low magnetic effect. Metal detection and metal mineral differentiation. Metallic objects have a distinct shape, while minerals usually have a messy and scattered appearance. Metallic objects have red color, Mineral substances are usually yellow and orange. The most important property of metallic objects that distinguishes them from minerals is that there is a significant numerical difference between them and soil in the collected data. In order to see these numerical values, you have to switch to the scanning details feature in the 3D viewer function. You can see soil balance value and numerical values of the selected area in the top bar when you go around the graph with direction buttons. There must be an increase of at least 15 units between the soil, which is shown with green on the graph, and metallic objects which are shown with red. For example, if the level of soil is 150, there should be a numerical value of at least 165 to 170 in order to be a metallic object present. If there is a difference of a couple of units, this data indicates mineral. A few units of increase are also possible for new objects that have less magnetic effect and have not been underground for too long. If there is a big difference between the soil and object that has magnetic effect, there is a great possibility of valueless metal. For example, when the level of soil is 80 units and magnetic object is 200 units. Metallic objects that have been buried underground for a longer period of time can be detected more easily. Precious materials such as gold or silver can be detected only if they were buried together with objects that have high magnetic effect. In order to see whether the data represents a real object or not, more than one measurement should be performed in the same spot, and all of them should result similarly. Cavity Detection Artificially created underground cavities such as tunnels, chambers, tombs are seen as blue color in the graphic. 
In the event of any dents or soil filled in the underground, the data will be light blue, turquoise, or light green. What you are searching for must have a distinctive shape and form. For example, if you are searching for a structure that resembles a tomb, the blue area on the graph should be rectangular and the size of a tomb. In order to see this numerical value, you should switch to the Scanning Details feature in 3D Viewer function. When you go around the graph with direction buttons, you can see the soil balance value and numerical value of the selected point on the top bar. There must be a decrease of at least 15 points between the soil which is shown with green and grounds which are shown with blue. For example, if soil level is 150, then the ground should have a value of 135 to 130. If there is a difference of a few units, this data indicates ground caused by rocks or superficial soil variations. Depth Calculation You can get approximate information about real objects, metallic objects, or the depths of underground grounds with the calculations. Depth calculations may vary depending on type of soil or objects staying underground for a very long period of time. You must switch to Scanning Details in 3D Viewer function. You must select the type of soil according to the area you are working on from the Depth Information screen. You can select the type of soil using Zoom In and Zoom Out buttons. For example, if the area you are working on is completely rocky, choose Concrete. If it is stony, choose Stony. If it is non-mineral, field-like, choose Light Mineral. If it has high mineral concentrations, choose High Mineral. If you have no information or estimations about the type of soil, you can make several calculations in different options and compare them for a more accurate calculation. After you select the type of soil, you will see depth information for each point on the top bar as you go around the graph with direction buttons. In order to see total depth information, you will have to switch to Depth Information in the 3D Viewer function. You can move the Depth Level Indicator up and down with Zoom In and Zoom Out buttons on this screen. You can see the total depth information on the top bar. Numbers on the graph show meters or feet. If there are no objects with magnetic effect or different abnormalities in your calculations, the depth information you see will be zero or very low numbers. As seen on the sample graph, the metallic object has 10.51 written on it. This means the depth of the metallic object is 10.51 meters, according to light mineral soil. Data on depth information are created with certain calculations. These are to give you approximate information. The information is not exact or binding.